20 years ago, uh, materialism, anti-dualism was so well established in philosophy that I thought, well, there's a battle won. Good. But there's been a whole wave of neo-dualists. Uh, to my dismay and frustration, but there they are. And uh, I find their arguments not just unpersuasive, but ludicrous. But I've got to acknowledge that they exist by the thousands and they're vocal and passionate. And uh, so dualism among philosophers and some scientists is alive and well. If the new dualists had arguments that you could consider with premises and conclusions, then it would give us a task. But in fact, when I look at the work of the leading exponents, people like David Chalmers, I see that it very quickly bottoms out with just an intuition. I know I'm conscious and you can't touch that and your theory doesn't deal with what I know about my own consciousness and argument cannot dissuade me. Well, I thought, okay, maybe I should take them at their word. If argument is beyond hope here, maybe a change in diet would help. I don't know what <laughs> they are, to my mind, ridiculously comfortable with their intransigence. They're ready to re have revolutions in physics because of their intuition about their consciousness. It seems to me the height of anthropocentrism, a sort of uh, uh, narcissistic confidence that staggers me. But there it is.